Okay. All right, today we're going to prepare some fish that me and Ryan caught yesterday on this video you're seeing. Some red fish and sheephead. And I've learned, I just take the fillet after I flame them out, I lay them out on a baking pan here. And I make a stuffing to go over it, and we call it fish dressing. It's quite good. And uh, I'm going to go through it and show y'all how it's done. Like I say, we got red fish and some sheephead fillets here. And I've laid them out on this pan, I just sprinkle them with a little bit of Tony Rochero's Creole seasoning and just put that over the top. It's a little light coating on it. And uh, I'm gonna have some in the other mix in my dressing. And I usually use this Ritz crackers. And I take three sleeves of Ritz crackers and I put them in a, a bowl and I just crush them up real fine. And uh, once I get that, I've got a bell pepper here that I'm going to cut up. And I usually use about a half a bell pepper to give it the color and a, um, a Vidalia onion. So stand by till I get this in here and then we'll continue on. Mm -hmm. All right, welcome back. I got it all back together here. All right, I got like a, uh, uh, probably two thirds of a Vidalia onion there. And I'm gonna mix it in. There's my half a bell pepper. Now you can, I use just a green, but you can use half green and half red, add a little color if you'd like. I'll pour that in. Then we'll just put some black pepper. Take a little bit of black pepper and just taste how you like. Put a little bit more salt, not a whole lot because the crackers, the wrist crackers have some salt on them. Some of that will share all those Creole seasoning. Garlic powder, got to have a little bit of garlic in your stuff. Make sure garlic ain't hurt the thing. Garlic good for you. All right, and like everything in the south, you've got to have some Texas peat. So put a little bit of Texas peat in there. All right, then we'll have Hellman's mayonnaise. Nothing like it. I'll put me two good scoops of Hellman's mayonnaise in there. And then I'm going to mix it all up. They have to add a little more mayonnaise. Helmand's in there. I want to get in the system to here. together good and that's perfect because the more you don't want to put so much mayonnaise because it'll really get a lot of water in it mayonnaise let's get it where it'll stick together good that's fine all right now got all that good come over here to the fish See my fish there? I'm gonna just stack that right on top of it. Good and level. I'm going to 
even in the sandwich thickness. And yes, I am a messy cook. My wife says all the time. About the meat until we was on. All right, he forgot to put the crab meat in the mixture, but that's some good stuff there. Yeah. That you buy from the store. We usually like to get the fresh stuff out the water, but we didn't have time to put. Pops but you can just yesterday. sprinkle it right over the top of your dressing, and that's what it'll look like. And then, like I say, you can mix it in with your crab, um, your crackers and all the other stuff is the way I usually do it. But just because I forgot, because you're getting a little lazy on me now, sometimes my mind don't think. I do spread it right over the top where it'll be fine and eat all that together once it cooks, and it is outstanding. So we're we'll fixing to put it in the oven. I want to show you what it looks like whenever it gets done. How hot we got the oven and how long you cook it for. I, got, I told them that earlier, 375 for 30 minutes. Okay. That's what it looks like when it's all said and done. Fish pie. Fish pie. Fish pizza. <laughs> it is delicious. Good eating. You got fried squash around here.